Right there everybody, it's here. Uh, the Lescom board has arrived. Um, came yesterday in the post, so we're just trying to um, get our head wrapped around it now. The adapters and the three digit display, everything's in there. So, um, as I say, I got the LC6404, five position band switch on it, uh, squelch scan, blah blah blah. So I'm just trying to wrap my head around it now and um, there's quite a bit of stuff to be connected up on it so I'll put it up there for now um, now what we have to do here um, I want to put I have a new um, PLL I want to put it in on a socket which I have got from Ray thanks very much Ray um, also, I'm going to put the band switch in here where the um, SRF Cal SWR control was. So I need to delete this. Um, I'm going to just hardwire it to the first, just the signal meter to work and the RF meter. Um, so a bit of figuring out stuff to do. Uh, the board's going to be mounted back here has to go back here because it's quite big and the counter module is here so uh, but by the looks of it the wires all the wires that Les put on the board are going to be plenty long enough um, so I just got to figure some stuff out um, just been looking at his instructions and stuff on his website and um, I just have a couple of questions I need to ask him and uh, we should be good to go so I suppose the first step will be to uh, get the channel selector uh, sorted out. Uh, don't need the display board, which is good because it's missing off this one. So uh, just get rid of these uh, ribbon cables and uh, get the adapter on. Uh, the adapter has to go in here as well for the radio. I have a little bit of cleaning up to do around the tracks on the bottom of the PLL here they were, uh, or where the selector cable goes in which where the adapter will go um, a little bit kind of messed up so um, but we'll get that sorted out it's no big deal so that's pretty much where it is for now um, I'm not going to jump into this there's a lot of stuff to be done here so I want to get my head well wrapped around it before I start and um, obviously then the these two buttons will be left as they are um, these are latching uh, switches that means obviously when you press it in the contact is made and it stays like that until you release it so these four have to be changed for non lashing just uh, momentary so you just push it and it will come straight back out and it just makes the contact for that second that you put it, push it in and uh, so these will be for the um, channel up and down uh, band up and down blah 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 so I have to figure out what way I'm gonna do it and um, I might end up having to put a control on the back for the wide filter uh, that Tim puts in here so a switch or something like that but look not the end of the world uh, not to worry about having switches on the back um, so like I said um, I have a lot of stuff to do uh, I have a lot of stuff to figure out and this is going to be one very busy radio inside and uh, when everything's in here it's going to be pretty packed there's not going to be a whole lot of room in here as I say, the Lescom board is going to be here, counter module is going to be here, all the wiring is going to be ran down this side. Uh, there's some connections to be made in the solder side. Um, so that's pretty much where it is for now. So uh, we'll be back when we get a bit further along. <laughs> right, got a little bit carried away and uh, forgot to pick the la camera up. So I have the board mounted in here. Um, these are all the switch control wires. I just have these cable tied up out of the way at the minute. Um, the adapters, now let's swing this around. The adapters are on. 
There's one there, and the other one is below it. And the socket's in for the PLL. I haven't dropped in the PLL yet. I'll do that soon. There's the solder side all sorted out. Um, so just some connections to be made here. For the last com board, I have to go to the anode of diode 31, which is down here. Uh, you can't really see. Um, that's it there. To connect to the anode of that. I have to connect to pin 10. And I have to go to the voltage regulator for 8 volts as well. So, um, and I have to get rid of this guy as well. So, um, we're doing okay. So uh, that's where it is for now anyway, so uh, we'll crack on another bit and uh, see can we get her done. We'll be back. Okay, there you have it for now. Um, everything's in and wired up in terms of the board. D31 anode connection, pin 10, all that stuff's done. Um, this is your... I actually said earlier this is a band switch that was uh, an error on my part. This is your mode display. So you can have it like that. It'll go A through to F. Um, this is frequency so you stick a 2 this side and a 5 that side. It's just for reference really. 66. I'm not sure what way that works. I think it goes from 0 all the way up to whatever. Uh, it's kind of like a blank display. Then you have your uh, ATU. And where is it? Yeah, I think once you go past this. Now, let's see. Yeah, it's just in channel numbers. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but I'll never we'll figure it out. So it's kind of as far as it can go with it for now. Um, I have to check the VCO voltage now and get the less com board to um, kind of correspond to that. I have to set it slightly lower or slightly higher. It depends, he says. So uh, that's pretty much where it is for now. So uh, we're making progress. Let's see, that's the uh, diode 31 connection, the orange wire, white wire is pin 10. And uh, that's the uh, power takeoff for, for it there, the 8 volts off the voltage regulator. So. Uh, that's where it is for now anyway, so uh, we'll be back soon.